Welcome back everybody, High Tech Lab here. Today we're going to be building a battery pack using these 16 Calb 3.2 volt lithium iron phosphate cells. Currently they are all hooked up for top balancing at 3.2 volts and I charged them and brought them up to about 3.65 volts and I did that with this here Agilent 6671A power supply. Again voltage currently set for 3.65 volts and I did this at 175 amps of uh, current even though this power supply can go up to 220 amps simply because my wiring down here please mind it a little bit it is one aught and unfortunately one aught is not sufficient for pushing the full 220 amps of this supply but that's okay it just took a little longer and then here in the middle of the pack i have a set of voltage sensing leads kind of at the middle terminal here and uh, that way it's the voltage at the cells themselves not with all the drop of the bus bars and wires going to them so now that these are full they're just about ready for install so this is going to be a 4p 4s pack so in other words, I'm gonna have a 12 volt system and that's gonna come out to about 920 amp hours with these CALB 230 amp hour cells. And for a BMS on this pack, we're gonna use this mess of wires here. This is the REC BMS 4S Active Management System. And for reference, this is going in a motorhome and we're using this BMS because it's relay based and we have loads that go up to about 500 amps. So definitely need some serious juice out of this pack. And that's why we picked a perfectly suitable BMS here. I'm gonna show you guys wiring this up here in just a minute. Here we are, eight cells. I've already started assembling. This is the eight remaining. And if we jump over here to the bench, you can see what I've got going on here. I am wrapping these here in black capped on tape. So I'm doing two layers on the bottom because otherwise this is just exposed aluminum and that case is tied to the positive terminal. So that wouldn't be good if this sat on any metal in the RV they're going into, it could short out. Now these cells are VHB taped together in between. I have uh, three strips in there. And if I pan over here, You'll see there is a pack already complete with bus bars ready to go with that black tape all the way around it. Now these cells are not gonna be in compression. We're just gonna have the tape and VHB between them. And um, yeah, I've got the bus bars here all dialed in and ready to hook onto the next group of four. And these are tied together, all positives and all negatives bust with bars. Everything is just about in place. All the cells are wrapped here, as you can see. And um, the way I did this pack, this is gonna be the main positive here, and this is gonna be the main negative here. At least this whole bar is. Now we can draw from here at the end, but it's not optimal, because ideally we would be opposite corners. Um, but yeah, I'm now gonna get to work with the REC BMS here. And yeah, I know, a mess. Um, but I'm going to be attaching these heat shrink ring terminals to the end of all the balance wires and getting all those shrunk down. And then from there, I can start attaching them to the cells and getting the BMS set up. So fast forwarding a little bit here, I've got all my balance leads connected here onto the REC BMS and it is powered up. Excuse the mess, but right now through this cable right here, we are plugged into our computer here and the REC BMS control software is installing right now. I have a shunt in here. This is the shunt from a BMV 712, which we're gonna be using in this system. The nice part about the REC BMS is it can piggyback off this shunt. So those wires are just connected on there. And then I have it connected with a Anderson cable to my uh, 60 volt, 50 amp power supply and I'm gonna make sure everything is working right with this BMS before we go install it in the system. And then when we're ready to go, we will disconnect the balance leads from these batteries, pull off four bus bars, 
and conveniently these can move in nice blocks of four cells at which point we'll put them in the car take them to the rv they're getting put in and then they will be installed so that's our current progress and looks like the software finished installing here and uh yeah computer restart and then we'll be on our way now we're all loaded up in the car on the way we are